Right, YouTube, I'm just going to do a quick another video regarding to my new MP3 player, as you can see, the Sony one I bought. Um, if you look for my videos, I've actually just recently unboxed, I've done an unboxing video on this, along with um, Sony headphones, which I bought as well with it. These are separate ones which I actually had to buy. They're the ones I got with it. Um, the cheap, nasty plastic ones. Right, I'm very disappointed in this. Absolutely a total letdown. Um, for how much I paid for it, I was expecting at least something decent. Now, the main thing that really put me off this now was um, when I actually went to the shop, I said to the bloke, uh, um, basically, is this loud? And I don't mean through the speakers, which you can see there. I don't mean through these, I mean headphone wise. And he says, yeah, these are pretty loud, right? Now, I'm not really sure what pretty loud meant to him, unless he meant pretty fucking quiet, because I mean, I plug headphones into this, into literally me E70 on, and even this can give better sound quality and louder than what this can. It is an absolute rip. I do not recommend anyone to buy one of these. Make sure you know it's Sony, right, with the speaker ones. Right, this is one day old. I bought it yesterday. £95 I paid. And I also bought these headphones from Sony. These Sony headphones which were reduced from £50, I think it was, to £25. Now, the bloke says to me, this will increase the sound level and overall sound quality, and I thought, why not? If I'm going to spend £100 on an MP3 player, why not buy some decent headphones? Instead of using the cheap plastic ones that they supply, which they always do that, which they shouldn't, but they do. And these do nothing. Actually, these actually decrease the sound. I know people are going to say these are bass ones, and it's more bass than actual vocals and stuff. Yeah, fair enough. The bass was a little tiny bit different, but for £25 for these, it's an absolute rip. I would not recommend anyone to buy these headphones either, or this. And another thing which like I didn't really say in the, in the review, because I kind of didn't want to put myself off it, it is very plastic. It feels so cheap. For £100, it's unreal what you're, what you, they, what they're actually giving you for £100. It's, it's just been, don't get it wrong, the screen looks nice, the buttons look nice, the colour red is pretty nice. Um, and the rest are funny as well and every single time I turn this off and turn it back on it always goes on my pictures which is quite annoying um, but for someone who's not really bothered about how loud it is in your headphones or someone who isn't really bothered about basically getting lied to this is the one for you there's a nice £95 to be well spent but I would definitely not recommend this to anyone who knows what they're after and then doesn't get it because all I want was some uh, um, MP3 player that can produce good sound quality and loud music and this just has done the job so tomorrow it's going back that's that's the one plus side with the sony is the letting us take it back so i'll be taking this back and hopefully coming home with a new one something not this like a new totally different i will not get ipod because i've got them and i don't like the whole itunes thing the whole synchronizing thing because that pisses us off. i like cut and drag best way so very disappointed but there's the sony ericsson walkman total letdown thanks for watching let me know what you think if you've had one i feel like if you like doing anything else about this before i send it away and um, i've pretty covered everything so let us know what you think Rate, comment subscribe thanks